Hey guys, so I got a chance to see Jupiter ascending a little early. Now, Jupiter ascending has a few things going for it. Number one, it's original science fiction, which we just don't get a lot of these days. Number two, it looks really cool. It's got some genuinely great CGI, the design of the film, the overall aesthetic that the Wachowskis do is actually really cool looking. But that's it. Jupiter Ascending is ultimately an inexcusable mess. To call the movie unfocused is an insult to all the movies that you thought were unfocused before because this goes so far beyond just being unfocused. The movie tries to be a straight ahead adventure film, it tries to be an epic romance, it tries to be a bureaucratic satire at points. Uh, it tries to be a lot of different things, like 10 different things, but it doesn't do any one of them all the way. It like halfway does 10 different things and it ends up being absolutely nothing. And the really disappointing thing is I think if they had picked one of those things and just stuck to it and made the movie about that, about that one thing, it could have been really cool because like I said up top, the aesthetic of the film was really great. Instead, all we get is the richest and most powerful family in the universe carting Mila Kunis around all over the place, explaining to her who she is and why she's so important, while Channing Tatum crashes a little spaceship into a bigger spaceship just in the nick of time to save her. Several times. He does that several times. And beyond that, there are storylines that are picked up and put down and never revisited or given any, any sense of closure. And there are several spots throughout the film that just leave you thinking, what the hell did we just do that for? There's an action sequence towards the beginning of the film that really encapsulates the whole problem with this movie. It's this dogfight in Chicago with a bunch of alien assassins. Just on the surface, it's problematic because you can't tell who's shooting at who. But more than that, the sequence is just hollow and meaningless. There's nothing behind it. In spite of a really cool score, particularly for that sequence, and again, some cool looking CG and design. It's like an alarm went off during the runtime of the film and it's like, whoa, hey, time for an action sequence. And I talk a little bit about the performances here, but it would just be redundant. They all suffer from the same problem that the whole movie does. They look cool, but there's nothing to give a damn about underneath. There's nothing at all that works in this movie aside from the look of it. Now, I don't give the Wachowskis quite as much credit as a lot of people do. I'm not an enormous fan of their work, but I know enough to realize that they have purpose. They have a vision for their movies, and up until now, they always stick to that vision, whether I like it or not. If you look back at The Matrix, every action sequence in The Matrix had a purpose. It had something going on subtextually. They were built so that Neo escaped in the only possible way he could escape, and we were still surprised by it. And they were rooted in story and character, and they made sense in the context of the whole movie. Cloud Atlas and Speed Racer, I, I didn't like either of those movies, to be perfectly honest, but I can't dismiss them completely because you can tell that the Wachowskis were trying to do something very innovative with these movies. They had a goal in mind when they made them, and that is why Jupiter Ascending just doesn't work at all. Every part of this movie is pulling in a different direction, and what you end up with is just this silly mess that you don't care about. So, let me know what you think of Jupiter Ascending. What do you think of the Wachowskis in general? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Click like and subscribe, and come back next time for more movie news on Cinefix Now.